Michelle, how many years did you think and dream about the Edgemar acting studio before it came a reality? I think since I was a child. I remember when I was 10 years old, I literally opened a little acting camp. I grew up in Paris, in France, and uh, I created uh, in my basement uh, a camp all day where we would, uh, it was basically an acting camp where kids did all kinds of creative games and improvisations and I made them lunch. And I always uh, for sure dreamed of creating a cultural arts center where all, all the disciplines would be under one roof. And then fast forward, how long did that actually take to become a reality? Well, I walked in here, I'd love to tell that story because it was certainly a big defining moment in my life and in the history of this theater when I snuck in here illegally in the middle of the night in the year 2000 in the main space, um, main theater, and looked up with my little flashlight thinking I'd be arrested any moment. And, uh, you know, really feeling a certain energy in the place where I saw literally, you know, productions happening, audience coming, lights. And uh, I knew nothing about what it would take. I was in complete, complete denial. I thought I would sew curtains and buy flats and put them up myself. I was just beyond in denial because what it took to build this two, you know, theater complex in capital campaign in the year 2000 was a million point three. So uh, forget about curtains and flats. That was the least of my problems. I had to worry about drywall, electricity, plumbing, and. So I begged people to help, and I was lucky enough. I have no idea how I did it. But, you know, here we are. We cut our ribbon in 2002. This is our, uh, what is this, 11th year anniversary. Next year it'll be 12 years. And 12 years goes in a flash. You blink, and it's, and it's there. But there's been a lot of magic here in 12 years.